Hello, what's up, people? Dolph Shores is right here, and welcome to another Pokemon Pack opening. And today, woo, we get some of the Elite Trainer Box, people, of Crown Zenith. Now, everybody's opened up the Elite Trainer Box because everybody has said that this is the best thing to get out of anything. I digress, possibly, because I opened up the mini tins and then I opened up the uh, Pikachu VMAX. I got absolutely amazing. So, yeah, they were worth it at the minute. Out of, all, out of everything I've opened, including the, um, including the normal tins. So, this could be underwhelming or this could be overwhelming. Because right from the very get-go in this box, you guarantee a holographic anyhow, which is the beautiful V-Star um, Lucario card, which is quite cool. I don't understand why they chose Lucario for its mascot for this set. It should be something completely different, but whatever. You can't, you can't really complain either way. You get all these booster packs, which is nice. You get yourself V-Star counter thingy, dice, etc., etc. All this lot, there's your promo. Here's your code, people. And it's gone. You get yourselves these beautiful sleeves right here. I'm going to put them to the side because they actually are worth money. Money! Hello, I like money. I love getting them sleeves a lot. Oh, I almost dropped it. And there is the Lucario card. Mainly it's worth around about five quid ish. So, but like I said, money has dropped a lot now because. Everybody's opened this thing up, but whatever. I like it a lot. The other card, it's got poor centering, which it doesn't really matter, so it's not really going to be a gradable card, but whatever. People have graded these up to get 10s and 9s and sell them for 20 to 30 quid, which they do not mind. I don't think that it's flipping not worth doing it because you're losing money either way because you have to get them graded because PSA is expensive. But anyhow, Let's go through this book now to see on what we've got and what we've not got and see how poorly we are doing. Because I know we have been doing quite badly in this set, to be honest. We have pulled some amazing stuff, so let's count the ways. So we've got ourselves a Leafeon, which is good. Oh my god, there's Charizard in this set. Okay, I do have the Japanese version of the Charizard. There's a re Charizard that I need to pull as well, so of course... The Charizards are the ones I really want to pull, more likely. Leafeon V-Star I haven't got yet either. We've got Sammy Sears. I'm sure we've got both of them. Uh, Kyogre we still need to get. No, standard Glacier we need to get. Uh, Rotom V-Star definitely. Um, definitely do need the Zoras as well, except for the standard V. Um, Mew V. Uh, Hatterinas, I do need to get them too. So we are needing still all the big hitter cards still. We've just not been getting them quite quite commonly. Uh, the Zakians, the Zemazentas, the Quasas as well. Oh my god, there's so many good cards here. Oh, that Eevee is a cutie. Oh, we want to get that too. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot to pull, people. Um, we have got the Professor and we have got the Hucyon cards. We haven't got uh, Spark on, we haven't got that one, or uh, Volo. There's the one that used to be super, super expensive, the Pikachu card. We've got that one. Uh, we've got Lapras. I think we've got Manaphy. Uh, we've got the Mew. We've got Soul Rock. We've got Three Evil. We've got Magnezone. Uh, we have Duskull. We have the Bidoof, we have a Pikachu, I know that. We've got a Paris, we've got Mareep. Here's the also artwork card, so there's that one. We've got that one, and we've got that one. But the most viable ones to get are the ones right at the back. Besides the trainers, the trainers are quite expensive. But these cards are the ones you want. The gold cards. Arceus, Giratina, Palki, and Dialga. They're the ones you want. They're the ones you want to pull, more than anything. They are hard to pull, but it has happened by a lot, a lot of people. Of course, them people have no life and open up literally hundreds upon hundreds of booster packs. I open up one, one product per thingy and see what my luck is. And if I want to do a hunt, I'll do a hunt. But my hunting days are over now. I'm not spending too much money to get things over and over again just to get myself a load of doubles. Like I did with uh, Shining Face and Hidden, well, Hidden Face more likely. Shining Face, I've not done it extremely. Anyhow, 10 packs, 
what can we get? Now a lot of people have said to me, you get absolutely amazing pulls in the Elite Trainer Boxes. So, we get a focus on Atus Radiance once again. Oh, and there's actually me, great star. So, uh, yeah, two doubles. Not what I really wanted, but still, great hollows. Good to resell if I really need to, which I possibly will do today. Because I've got plenty of time, people, because I'm going to Geek Retreat tonight, if you guys want to know. It's a Thursday uh, right now, people, on what I'm recording. And I always go to Geek Retreat on Thursdays to play cards, mainly Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't play Pokemon anymore. I just collect the cards now. But uh, I'll do speak to Dave, and I'll give these cards to him, and uh, see if he can get me a bit of good pricing for it. So land it, coughing, Bidoof, Capture, and a him. Let's try and get a big hitter, people, because literally, people, we've only got this product and two more products left, and then that is it. I have decided to myself that I won't be opening up the Japanese boost box. A lot of people may be thinking, no, I want you to open it, but the product is so flipping expensive and valuable, and I'm not keeping anything that's Crown Zenith in my collection, so I might as well have the Japanese one and have that one go up in value, because that one is going to go up in value massively. Reverse Royal Rare Snorlax. And a one of them. Okay. The wool, the, the wool reverse foil Snorlax is quite cool. I like it. It's a reverse foil rare, so that's good to know. Come on. Let's see what we can get. Here's your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. My God. Here we go. Probably nothing. We don't know. Anything like that is always probably going to be a good, something great or something terrible. It's something terrible! What a surprise! <laughs> Next pack, come on. Don't let this Elite Trainer Box be terrible. Even though I can say though, this this month's look has been very, very good. We've got two Ultimate Armor cards, which is, I can't complain people, I really can't. I can't be saying, oh, this has been a terrible month. It has been really, really good to me. Hasn't been unbelievably amazing. Hey! Pat uh, Pucciana! I'll take that. And an Ente! Okay! Another double double. Double double, tall and double. Okay! Well, at least we've got a cameo card. That's great. And a hollow Ente. Quite cool. And menacing. But uh, yeah, there's. Um, it's just that. Um, I can't. Do I say it's. Um, Rivals any other big sets like last month? Definitely not. Last month was way, way better. But still though, my look is still there and it's still going strong. I've not been having back-to-back -back terrible booster packs all the way through the month. The beginning was quite questionable that I was gonna my look was gonna run out, but the last products now have been absolutely amazing. Hey, Marvel Zombie! Another double that I don't really need to be honest. So there is a lot, a lot of doubles you can definitely get in this set a lot of times. So they are quite common to pull. So not very good, but not very nice. But whatever, I do not care. I'll be very, very happy to get that. Here is your code. And it's gone. One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Pikachu, Metang, Dusclops, Switch, Pancham, Wooloo, Skelet. Another Radiant Eternatus? Oh, come on. Really? How many do I need to pull? This is ridiculous. Literally ridiculous, people. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, come on. Yeah. Head out of your backside, Dobsey. You're going to get something amazing. Literally. Got three packs left of the Elite Trainer Box. You're going to get yourself a special alternate artwork card. Doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it is the Arceus, the Guillotine, or the Palkia. It could be anything. It could be the Entei alternate artwork. We don't know. It could be anything we want. I don't mind. Snowrun. Oh, God. Come on, don't let this Elite Trainer Box be a terrible box. It's not really terrible, but it's double mania, to be honest. It's multiple mania. Everything we pull has literally been a double, which is not good, people. Really not good. War Energy, Soul Rock, Lunatone, Croc, Rock, Rock, Baltoy, Tangular, Lavesta, No Run, Electric, and a Vol Corona. Final pack of Destiny. 
Can we end it off with a big hollow? Let's hope and pray. Here's your code, and it's gone. One. One, two, three, four. Let's have a look. Donna's Energy, Matang, Lucio, Vacuum, Switch. Steady go now. Hey, hey. Oh, there we go. We get Deancey. Cameo. Lovely card right there. And a DD Hollow. Okay, I'll take that as the end of the Hollow Pack. I'm very happy. But to be honest, people, though, you did get a lot, a lot of doubles, though. And of course, BD is another double, if you guys want to know. So let's see what we pulled here. So we got five reverses, one reverse foil rare, which is, I think, is one of the best ones to pull, I think. The Snow Lights is way nice. Look at it. He's adorable. And then the hollow rares of the day. Literally, how many doubles do we pull? So we pull one, two, three. Possibly about five doubles. That's ridiculous, people. Super ridiculous. It is. Uh, it's not great, but I'm still happy that I pulled something great. And again, though, you do get some of the Lucario V style, which is quite cool. So here are the pulls. Here we go. So Entei, BD, Radiant Eternatus, two of them. Rotom, Zakian, Deancey Cameo, Puchiana Cameo, and the Lucario V-Star. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, people. We're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers, so if you guys want to subscribe, please do. It helps out the community a lot, and it helps me out a lot to make better videos like these. With that being said, people, the people I'm still going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Okay, now it's time for the newest products that came out this week in this timeline, people. Um, pretty much the timeline of my recording. The shiny Zakin and the shiny Zamazenta figurine collection. £60 each. There better be something good in there. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the volumes are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!